Ayan na, kamusta kay John, mga kametsa? Great people, wonderful people. Thank you very much for joining us yesterday. Medyo nasa, ano pa tayo eh? Ba't cloud nine man tawag yan? Baka mahirap naman ganun mga comment tayo. Baka may magkakaroon ng pulveronic jokes. No, no, no. I'm still in the afterglow ng eto na, what we, 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 we came, we saw, and we conquered moment natin na finally nagawa natin ito, guys. Na finally nagawa natin itong in person, in studio ulit ng RRM. Obviously, that was not the first time that I, Ronald, or Mark were in the same studio. We did vlogs before, yung real talk natin kung maalala niyo. And Ronald, of course, I've also joined, uh, I've shared the platform on TV together, among other things. So, hindi yan first time. But I think first time yan, guys, na talagang um, nagawa natin ito as, as talagang RRM. And uh, I was so glad kasi nahabol ko itong... Uh, Nahabol na nahabol natin itong uh, itong cover na ito. Talagang true 24 hours natin inayos natin yan with uh, si shout out kay Tier yung kasama natin talagang nagpatulong tayo. Sabi ko hindi kailangan talaga illustrado yung gawin natin. Uh, but of course not in a too pretentious way, but pretentious enough, right? So ito yung eventually yung design na we agreed upon. Obviously the other design <laughs> Yung uh, Tres Marios, no? Itong uh, Tres Marios. Uh, natawa lang ako talaga doon kasi, di ba, this was just a response doon sa sabi kong paboritong Tres Marios niyo. So, kasi sabi ko, Tres Marios and then Tres Super Marios. So, yun po yung evolution na nakita ko kaya napunta doon. Alam mo naman, para marites yan, di ba? Mare, anong latest, tapos ganyan, until umabot sa marites. Para din yan doon sa yung isang paborito natin topic, di ba? Ex-human rights, lawyer, and then potentially ex-lawyer. Uh, sabi ko, wag lang maging ex-human, di ba? Medyo malaking suprang problema yan pag mapunta tayo dyan. All right? So, ito po yung mga evolution na tinignan natin. So, you know, I, I, just, I just thought medyo playful yan, but I'm super, super proud of uh, itong uh, logo na nagawa namin because I think it very much captures, no? Yung essence ng ginagawa natin sa RRM. Yung medyo pakulo. Medyo nangangasar, medyo entertaining, but at the end of the day, serious people. Serious people focusing on serious issue, but making sure na ito mga issue na ito ay relatable. You know, I've been getting some weird uh, emails dun sa, para sa column ko sa Inquirer. I get some weird uh, comments. Okay, I don't want to call it weird. Uh, medyo masyadong team walls. <laughs> Yung mga weird na JD Vance weird, but... No, I mean, people saying na, you know, na-miss ko yung mga highfalutin or na-miss ko yung mga um, ganyan-ganyan mo. Hindi ko na-appreciate yung mga videos mo kasi masyadong pakulo, masyadong pamasa effect. No, 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 guys, guys, let me tell you this. I I don't want to be mayabang or anything like that. And I'm not. Actually, if you really know me, you know I'm not mayabang. So I, I kind of gave give some wrong vibes here and there. But thank God naman. I think anyone who bothers realizes that there's so much more going on there. No, no, no. Akin lang, guys. You know, I, I've done it. I've written for the New York Times in my 20s pa. I've written for Foreign Affairs. I've, you know, nagawa na natin mga yun. I've written essays for leading literary magazines. Mekong Review, I'm a, I'm a regular contributor. I have a new book, uh, book review coming out, including a book on Rizal, among other things. Uh, you know, I can go on and on. I, I'm a regular contributor to Journal of Democracy, which is a leading political science, social science journal uh, when it comes to anything relevant to issues of democracy. Yung mga tipo ni Francis Fukuyama, Larry Diamond yung mga nagkakontribute dyan, Samuel Huntington at some point. So all the luminaries that you can think about have contributed to that. So, you know, you that stuff I do. I do that as an academic. I do that as an intellectual. Pero ang ginagawa po natin dito sa mga blogs natin is special. It's, it's different because ang ginagawa po natin dito, oh, yung mga kapsat, na yung bagong... Uh, Gabi at araw. No, no, what we do here is we make complicated, frankly depressing, and sometimes brutally frustrating. Pag-usapan natin, speaking of brutally frustrating, mag natin isang hearing, yung mga kung sino sino naging senador, etc. Pero ginagawa natin itong uh, relatable, understandable, ginagawa natin yan, appreciable, and, and humorous. So, kailangan mo talaga gamit ang hearing. Kaya idol ko talaga si Socrates eh. You know, I used to, you know, I grew up as a great admirer of Plato. You know, like a great admirer of, uh, you know, ideas and perfection, of, of conceptual 
you know, sophistication and all. But over time, as I got older and I got to read more, actually Socrates was a much more interesting person. Siya yung nakikipagbardagulan sa gitna ng palengke. Agora, right? Siya yung nakipag, uh, you know, nakipagbiro, nakipag-usap-usap, and the next thing you know, marami siyang na-enlighten ng tao. So na-realize ko, I think you should be more Socratic in your approach to public enlightenment rather than, you know, platonic and all of those things. Kaya ginagawa na. Kaya sobrang proud ako, guys. I'm super happy dito sa mga ginagawa natin. Yung Project Pilipinas namin ni ni uh, ni Mark Gamboa. And of course, uh, you know, parang hindi sabi na nag-feeling lang tayo. I've also posted, of course, um, um, so there's sites when they're ranked. No? So for the year of 2024, nag-ranked number one po yung political podcast natin yan. Now, obviously, this number one ranking na meron tayo dito is It's a collation of my podcast deep dive and also yung joint podcast namin with with Mark no. So and malalaman yun based on dun sa numbers of followers on Twitter, on Facebook, and Instagram. Those are my exactly my numbers, right? It's my numbers earlier this year, no. Uh, so you can clearly exactly see the numbers, right? Um, so you know, we're glad we're glad to make um a kind of program or podcast na relatable sa tao at saka na appreciate ng tao. So, malaking bagay yan, guys. Malaking bagay yan. And, and you know, malaking bagay yan especially because ang dami pong nangyayari ngayon. Ang dami mga nakaka-frustrate frustrate na bagay, among other things. So, ito po, ay, ang release natin. So, I, I released a, a part, a part ng ating interview kanina. Please check it out. Um, this is on my own camera. So, this is the auxiliary camera. Ilalabas pa namin yung full version. Uh, later on, hopefully, the, ma- pag ma-upload na, ma-download na namin yan. So, actually, na-realize ko kagabi. Si, like, diba? Ag- uh, sipak talaga, no? So, kagabi, I realized, ito na, 25-6 gigabytes of video, but there's no audio whatsoever. So, nakalimutan natin, lagay ng mabuting ganun, or nilagay ko. So, I had to superimpose yung live ko dito on that. Itugma na exactly para ma- makuha natin yan. And that's, a work of passion. That's a work of love. That's a work of dedication. So I hope na appreciate nyo. Wala tayong production team. I'm doing this alone. Yes, may tulong tayo sa thumbnails, may tulong tayo sa ganyan. But overall, you know, a lot of these things, we're doing it on our own. So I really appreciate, guys, na nakikita nyo saan galing mga sinasabi natin. So please check out uh, ito snippet of the kind of in-studio interviews that uh, we have in mind. Now, okay. speaking of... <laughs> Um, OBC, eto hindi naman tayo nagyabang, but marami tayo nakakausap, you know, people who know their stuff, people who are in position of influence, etc. Maraming lumalapit sa atin, <laughs> minsan, uh, and thank God, you know, the right people, the good people, shout out dun sa mga followers natin, etc. Bigla sa restaurant, Sir, ikaw po si Sir Richard, and then they try to pass on certain things, uh, some sensibilities or information, etc. Dun sa maganda nilang adhikain, whether for human rights, karapatan pang tao, or para sa ekonomi, or para sa West Philippines. So, na-appreciate ko po yan. Now, anyway, going back to this, guys. Um, yung issue na impeachment ni Sara at saka yung issue ng uh, ICC. More or less tayong nag... Uh, Mainstream ng issue na yan. So, over the past 48 hours, I had multiple mainstream channels picking up dito sa meta podcast natin. Imagine, of course, it's a given that I also work for mainstream media. But the fact that mainstream media comes and looks at our vlogs, our interviews with great people like Justice Scorpio, and then they're picking up from that, etc. Malaking bagay yan sa akin. So, I think that's an affirmation of, of the kind of relevance and, and, and the kind of traction Na, na meron tayo dito sa mga podcast natin. We do it as informal, as relatable, as, as, as you know, in naman our time friendly masyado. But you know what I'm saying? As substantive uh, and comprehensive as possible. At minsan medyo pakulo, medyo hindi informal. So na-appreciate ko na, you know, it's having the kind of impact it's having. Nevertheless, bago, bago ko balikan yung issue ng um, impeachment ni Sarah, because, you know, I had a conversation with a couple of people who I thought may push for this soon or, or you know, people who may have information about whether the impeachment will push forward, etc. Bago tayo pumunta dyan, let me go back again to why I feel sobrang, why am I so proud of what we have achieved dito sa Malate Natin podcast. Na medyo number one lang naman dun sa ibang rankings and all. Obviously, we're not the only game in time. Obviously, yung kabilang channel, magaling din sila. Um, um, and, and thank you so much for everyone who's showing support. 
and I'm, I'm glad that whether it's me, whether it's Kristen, whether it's Christian, whether it's, it's, it's Mark, you know, all of us in our little ways are doing things. And thank you so much also, of course, to, to Ronald, um, uh, Justice Scorpio, uh, Admiral Ong, among other people, who also always make sure na uh, updated tayo sa mga bagay-bagay at the highest levels in terms of discussion and also in terms of uh, relatability. Kasi yun ang hindi masyado magawa sa mainstream media as much. Although, dun sa mga shows natin sa TV or whatever, I try to make things as comprehensive as possible, especially the view from Manila. You're free to see that. But you're gonna see a much more formal, right? And and serious, legit side of me, right? But if you want medyo pakulo and you want it a little bit more wild and, and medyo more uh, explorative yung topics, dito tayo sa ating podcast. Now, again, going back to this, why am I happy when I have, when we see our podcast Kostner is among the top, if not the top. Why am I happy when I see a lot of people discussing what we're discussing? Why am I so happy when I'm seeing a lot of people feeling passionate about our discussion and all? It's because I'm not happy with how our politics is. Dahil hindi ako masaya. Hindi ako masaya sa politika natin. Hindi ako masaya sa direksyon ng ating bansa for a long time. Hindi ako masaya uh, sa kalidad ng leadership sa ating bansa. At hindi ako masaya sa mga clown show and antics and all I'm seeing here and there. So this is what we're doing here. So this is what we're he- doing here, guys. So, <laughs> ano sabi ni Mick Zubiri? Yung, yung time na siya, no? pangalan niya si, si, si Bato na meron siya. Ano yung sinabi ni Bato noon na, ay, yung hinagpan niya yung ano ni Madan, tapos biglang bumoto siya laban kay Mick Zubiri, di ba? I'll fight, I will we'll go with you to the end of the world. And, and, tapos yung sabi ni Zubiri, I have seen strange things in my life. I had no idea. Ganun. So, me, minsan, medyo ganun din ang dating sa akin, mga hearings. We thought that the whole pulveron, buljak, whatever, uh, the, the, what, what is, what's the name? Jonathan Morales, uh, yung the whole uh, Batu de la Rusa, all of that thing. We thought that was the biggest clown show we were going to see in, um, in, in, in the Senate. And by the way, I'm actually following other hearings, including dun sa kaso na anak ni... Uh, Sir Mulak, that seemed to be very serious, very, very serious. Obviously, we're waiting for the proper courts and venues to really ascertain whether nangyari talaga yung massive sexual assault na ina-allege ni Mr. Mulak um, dun sa mga contractors ng GMA Network. But it's sobrang, a part of me is saying, dapat pag-usapan din natin yun. Hindi lang yung um, sexual harassment of women, female, um, uh, you know, talents. We have to talk about also sexual assaults against uh, male, younger male uh, folks. And we also, also have to talk about the toxic system na meron tayo sa loob ng, um, sa loob ng, ng showbiz. We, uh, you know, I, mahabang usapan yung toxic showbiz culture, pero natin balikan yan, uh, uh, drama-drama. And then, and then, ano naman ang latest? Oh, hindi na Chloe, yung si Hazel ba? In fairness, maganda siya. I mean, She's uh, she and and she's very competent and 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 you know and I'm saying this you know in a completely innocent appreciative way and uh, you know she's UP trained she's she's a you know she's a, she's an expert in terms of making sure na our our top gymnasts our top athletes at this highest level but I thought nakita niyo showbiz uh, so hindi na Chloe iba na naman eh, all of those things anyway so showbiz culture din yan sa akin. Although medyo na 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 hurt din ako nung nakita ko yung pictures ng lolo ni Kaloy at saka yung mas malit niyang kapatid na parang kanina yata or something nagsabi something along the lines na gusto ko mabuo ulit yung pamilya. But anyway, I don't want to get into the personal issues that much but I hope people understand when I, I say we have to celebrate Kaloy's victory but we also have to hope for the best when it comes to making sure, you know, filial love, heroic magnanimity. I hope my gets ni big sabihin noon. I Google it na lang if you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, going back to this. So the other day I was I was looking at the hearings sa Senate and then nakita ko to. Nakita ko to. And then so we got to evolution ba ng bigote to? Jingoy bigote. Robin Hood bigote. And then sino ba yan? Staff ba niya? Staff pa ni boss ba yan na sa likod? Or ano? Sino ba yan? Um <laughs> But anyway, I just said, maybe, siguro nakiupo lang siya doon sa hearing na yan kasi pinanood ko yung hearing na yan eh. Uh, yung hearing ni uh, Senator Jingoy, especially ukol doon sa kaso na anak ni, ni Bossing Molak, no? But anyway, next thing I know, may sarili hearing pala tong taong to. At, remembers, remember, remembers. 
Remember, the hearings are supposed to be in aid of legislation. Dapat may kinalaman ito dun sa pangunahin na trabaho ng Senado. And at the same time, it also has to be part of the job of the Senate as a fiscalizer, as a check and balance, and to make sure na to uphold rule of law, to check any potential abuses among others. Anyway, uh, and then suddenly I said, this guy is conducting some hearing or something? Like, what the heck is going on here? Diba? And then like, tapos may meron pa siyang flag ng ano, tapos meron pa siyang ganun. And then, an, an topic. Man, sasangayo naman, naman sa akin ng mga taong bayan pag sinabi kong may iba talagang urge ang mga lalaki talaga. Ito naman urge, urge. Talagang nandun eh. So, papa, papano yun? Andyan ng asawa mo. So, anong paano, anong pwede kong para hindi ako mareklamo ng asawa ko o ano? Eh, di matulog ka. Eh, di uminom ka lang tubig. Mag-gym ka. Tumakbo ka. Mag-marathon ka. Magbasa ka. Baka may matutunan ka pa sa buhay. Sa akin ng mga taong bayan, pag sinabi kong may iba talagang urge ang mga lalaki. Urge, talaga, urge, 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 talagang, urge, talagang, urge. Nandun, eh. Paano ba ang i-spell so, yung urge na yun? Papa, papano yun? Andyan ng asawa mo. So, anong, paano, anong pwede kong para hindi ako mareklamo ng asawa ko? O ano, pwede, anong pwede kong... Mag-gym ka, sir. Oh, ano Mag-marathon ka. Tumakbo ka. Magbasa ka. Kasi, ano po yun, eh, no? Baka naman. Uh, siguro naman, sasangayo naman sa akin ng... Mga taong bayan, pag sinabi kong may iba talagang urge ang mga lalaki talaga. May urge talagang nandun. Ay, wait lang. Hindi ko, hindi ko pala nilagay yung bombo. Mahabang usapan pala yun. Ha? Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's a, there's, a, there's a longer version kung saan. Sorry. Hindi ko pala nilagay yung bombo version. <laughs> Pero, parang nag-work siya talaga itong urge, urge. Mr. Urge. Hindi na siya boy, ano, boy urge na siya. Diba? E di ba? Eh, di ko nga yun. di mag-gym ka. mag ano, Ilabas mo yung init. Diba? As if naman, wala pa tayong self-control, sir. Sir naman. Alam mo, kasama sa pagkatotong macho is meron kang self-control, meron kang self-restraint. Hindi ko sinisabi yan dahil ako ay perfect or whatever. Pero siguro naman, dapat kasama sa ating pagkalalaki ay self-restraint. Self-discipline. Right? Dapat sana, di ba? Kaya itong urge, urge, urge na yan. Di ba? Tapos, naiinis ako yung style na, sigurado ako marami mag-agree sa akin. Sigurado ba? Para naalala ko yung sinasabi ni Trump pag may, may inibento siya. But many people say, but, but they say, who? Saan galing? Yung mga ganon, yung parang nag appeal to public opinion or uh, actually appeal to non-existent public consensus or something like that. Now, hindi ko sinasabi na walang uh, toxic masculinity. Unfortunately, medyo malaki yung toxic masculinity. Uh, of course, malaki tayong problema in terms of uh, uh, vowsy, violence against women and children. Uh, malaking problema sa ating bayan. So actually, I, I feel bad na hindi ko na-post yung buo eh. Um, it, because it was a long back and forth and interesting exchanges. Um, kasi, ang suggestion ng resource person, sino yung attorney na yan na may mga ano-ano, tapos ganun yung hair na ano. Anyway, mahirap na baka mga Anyway, alam niya na sino yan, di ba? Yung ba yung naging attorney niya? No? Anyway, um, basta hindi ito si attorney Fortuna at saka hindi ito si Harry Roque. No, yung, yung sabi, eh, eh, kung ano, di mag, ano kayo, magpa, ano na, therapist kayo, di ba? Mag uh, marital therapy kayo. Baka kailangan nyo na, i, you know, i-reawaken yung connection, communication. Because a lot of, you know, uh, physical connection is also about mental connection. You know, a lot of, uh, I don't know if this is gonna sound right, but, you know, ito na, papunta na tayo. Ito na ang pangtapat natin sa mga Andrew Tates of this world. Ganito na lang. Um, whew, how should I put it? Ako, <laughs> pahamak tayo kay Robin Hood eh. Magta-12, magmi-midnight na. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Hindi, ako umayos kayo. Huwag kayo mag-post ng mga bastos ha. Ako umayos kayo Mag-push up ka na lang, mag-gym ka na lang. Basa ka na lang ng ano, libra na, libra pa hiram kita. Basa ka na Hegel. Basa ka ng ano. Ayan, meron tayong ano diyan, James Joyce. Ayan. No, anyway, um mag-manood ka ng comics, mag-PlayStation ka, sir. Pwede naman, dami nang pwedeng gawin kahit may urge, may urge, urge. No, no, no ako, okay. How do I May hirap na. Marami kasi tayong haters, kaya ayos natin 'to. No, 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 I'm just kidding. No, seriously. Oh, kasi, syempre lumaki ako with, with this idea na 
Ganun na. Lumakaw with this idea na uh, ito yung idea ng kagandahan pagdating sa babae. Itong idea ng uh, good looking when it comes to a man. And then, as I grew older, uh, as, as I, I, uh, I grew up actually, di ba? Parang, uh, tumitingin na, okay naman. Medyo parang hindi naman tayo nagkaalayo dun sa idea or something like that. Again, no? Kung doon, sorry Lord, if I'm saan mo wrong. But napansin ko, may mga kilala ko na they don't necessarily fit yung ideal of uh, what is a kind of a attractive person, physically attractive. You know, yung symmetry sa face, jawline, height, ganun. Pero napansin ko talagang um, uh, prolific, prolific. At uh, maraming tao na attract sa kanila. Um, maraming, uh, anyways, makamausapan na. Medyo parang digong na, 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 na. And I realized actually, a lot of, uh, a, a big part of attractiveness, guys, actually hindi totoo na it's just physical. I actually doubt it's also intellectual. I'll be honest. I don't know, baka mapahamak tayo. Yes, there's something called sapiosexual and all of that, but it's not as common as some people would think. Actually, sometimes, if you're intellectual, it can come off as intimidating to other people. Actually, it could put off. But anyway, I'm not trying to get into uh, whatever. Napansin ko talaga, a lot of attractiveness and chemistry is at the level of communications, conversation, trust, confidence, di ba? Uh, medyo, uh, hindi na tayo ganun kabata, di ba? So, you know, uh, we've been in relationships, I've, I've, I've talked to uh, folks, you know, who have been through relationships. So, ang basa ko talaga, yeah, when it comes to any relationship, any kind of physical intimacy, before that has to come, Emotional intimacy, trust and confidence, and most importantly, communication. Communication, yun po ang kailangan natin. So, hindi ko talaga maintindihan itong pinipilit ni Kuya na Koya na arang gagawin ko. Ito talaga may urge ako, urge ako. It's my part na may sinasabi siya na parang wow, 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 man. So, yun ang sinasabi ko, guys. Eh, talagang pag naglagay ka ng mga ganitong klaseng tao sa Senado, huwag ka na mag-expect talaga na magkakaroon talaga ng anything close to what is our expectation of what a Senate should look like. No offense, sir. And actually, I say this as someone who has been sympathetic to Robin Hood Padilla. I think Robin Hood has his heart in the right place. But whether he's getting the right advice, whether he's focusing on the right advocacy, is tama ba yung ating... I don't know. Siyempre, pumasok sa kanina. Number one naman ako. Ganun, ganun. But honestly, sir, okay, number one ka na pumasok. Good. Congratulations. But it's about what you do with that number one, eh. What do you do with that number one? Or actually, not even that. What do you do with your position in the Senate? Andiyan ka lang ba para protektahan sila? Ano mo na? Or magagaya? No! Sana si Robin Hood became the voice of the uh, our moral Muslim brothers and sisters. Um, after all, di ba? Last time you checked, di ba? Um, you know, I, I hope he would have become the voice of you know, proper legislations para iangat naman yung antas ng ating showbiz, our film industry. We have great directors, we have great talent among others, we interview Pepe Jok na among others, but clearly, uh, hindi pa tayo nakakabalik dun sa level na kailangan natin pagdating sa So I think there are many areas where, by, where Robin Hood Padilla could make a very good contribution. And yet, you, get, you, you see this. And then, it's not even what he says or what he prioritizes, it's the way he does it. Yung parang, Sobrang confident. Sobrang walang second guessing yourself. And I'll tell you what. I may look off as too overconfident of the but actually I'm I'm constantly thinking at the back of my head. Okay ba to? Eh, tama ba akong ginawa? Kailangan ko ba mag-recalibrate? Kailangan ko ba nag-adjust? I reflect afterwards. So I constantly am reflecting, trying to tweak etc. So So like what the heck is this guy trying to achieve with that kind of hearing? I'm sorry, this doesn't reflect well on the Senate. I mean, eto na ba ang standard ng Senate natin. Ito na bang ano natin. So, again, oh, oh, nahita, that's what I'm saying, guys, na sana ma-appreciate nyo bakit may, sinasaksak mo ng element ng humor kasi kaysa na may ibang gag. I mean, di ba? Kasi it's just ridiculous sometimes. Kaya, you know, ito mga ginagawa namin ganun is, is actually to lighten up the mood kasi minsan nakaka-frustrate talaga. Like for, for this person to feel so so confident and so self-assured and talagang urge it. Anong pwede kong para hindi ako ma-reklamo ng asawa ko? Hindi ba? Like, oh. So, anong, 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 an
urge, uh, urge. Siguro naman, sasangayon <laughs> naman sa akin ng... Ito naman, siguro naman sa sangayon taong bayan. Yeah, may iba si... talagang urge ang mga lalaki talaga. May urge talagang nandun. Eh. What's that supposed so, to mean, dude? Pa, 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 dude, pa, dude, dude, ano, dude, ano, dude, ano ba yan? So anong, paano, anong pwede kong parang hindi ako mareklamo ng asawa hey! ko? Ano, Umayos kayo sa mga sagot niya. Umayos kayo dyan, ha? matino tayo dito. Disente tayo dito. Disente tayo. Okay? Disente lang tayo. Disente lang tayo. Speaking of disente, mag-transition na tayo. Kasi baka tumataas yung urge ko na mainit. Yung urge ko na parang bakit tayo na yung urge. Yung ganyan. Yung mga urge natin, guys. Ah. Ay, nako talaga. Ay, nako talaga. Sir! Magbasa ka siguro, konti, medyo mag-upgrade ka, medyo 21st century na po, medyo kailangan natin ng, siguro take in consideration ang gusto ng mga kababayan, siguro, medyo communication skills, medyo relationship skills, medyo ganun. Ay, 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 You know, I'll tell you what, my friend. Ang trabaho mo dyan is to bring out the best out of the people. A good leader brings out the best out of the people. A bad leader who ended up who ends up in position of power by chance or by makikirite sa ano ng iba, whatever, or, or, or playing populist antics, a bad leader appeals to the worst instincts of the people and weaponizes that to their own political favor. A good leader brings out the best out of people. And you cannot bring the best out of people if you're not bringing the, out the best in yourself by upgrading yourself, by by keeping with times and moving forward and all of those things, alright? Okay? And as someone na, siguro naman, medyo mas marami tayong, ano, di ba? Yung mga chesser pa lang natin, di ba? <laughs> anyway, just saying, being a man is not only growing beard, which I can do, Not it's not only about your chesser or your Ibiza. No, it's about self-discipline. It's about self-improvement, alright? All of these books you see behind me, I read them to improve myself, alright? As you can see, trabaho na kopo, it's all of that. I try to have self-discipline. I only eat once a day or twice a day at most. Gustong gusto ko mag-rice sa gabi. Asian ako eh. I love it, rice. But gabi eh, hindi na pwede. I have, it's self-discipline. It's constant self-discipline. Now, does it mean na 100% I'm always... No, of course not. Tao lang tayo. But self-discipline for me is part of being a real man. Ang tunay na lalaki ay may self-restraint. Yun yung sabihin, iba eh, may urge, may urge, urge, urge. Ayan, at yung pala yung spelling, E-R-J-J-J. Yung urge, urge. May tinatawag na discipline, self-restraint. Yun, yun ang tunay na lalaki, guy. Yun ang tunay na lalaki, self-restraint, discipline, etc. Anyway, Just when you thought, yung ideas ng Sefeda. Anyway, kanina balita ko yung sa kaibigan namin. Meron na naman siyang magpahiring, pahiring na naman siya sa West Philippine Sea. Sir, baka naman gusto mag-imbita. Baka bigyan pa kita ng uh, no, librang kopya ng mga libro ko sa West Philippine Sea. Mga publish lang naman sa London, Singapore. Mga ganyan lang naman yung level natin. Eh, diba? Anyway, ay yata tayong imbitahin sa hearing niya. Eh. Okay lang yun, sir. Okay lang yun, sir. Off the record naman tayo mag-usap if ever. Anyway, Actually, I, I don't mind interviewing Robin at some point. Because I, I, I honestly believe his heart is in the right place. But, tamang framing, tamang focus, tamang focus, tamang urge, urge. Yung urge dapat natin sa tamang paraan. Okay, speaking of decency and all. Nakita ko itong uh, latest, uh, inter- uh, latest na lumabas na ano ha. Uh, um, latest na lumabas ng uh... bit. Sir! Break muna tayo, sir. Ito, 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 advertisement nila Riza Ontiveros, Pam Aquino, yan, nakikita ko kanina, lumalabas na. Um, ano yun, parang tema nila, f- friends, parang ganon, friends ba yan? Uh, yung parang friends, friends, ganon. Oh, that was, it's, it's cute, it's nice. It's nice, it's cute. I think it's a good vibes one. I think kayang-kaya pa. <laughs> Bakit pag tinipe ko, ang Riza Bam Aquino, ang lumalabas, si Cynthia Villar? <laughs> Bakit si Cynthia Villar ang lumalabas? <laughs> Wait lang. Ay, ito, ito, ito. Ito ba yan? Yan. Yun! Ay, hinaan ko. Baka, mga, baka magkakaroon tayo ng copyright problem. Yan. Oo. Uh, Baka ma-copyright issue tayo. Ito, 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 ito. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. It's cool. 
good vibes. Diba? Good vibes, si Risa, si Bam, all naka-white. Obviously, we know what's going on here. Okay, si so analyze natin, breakdown natin yan. Breakdown natin, kasi may urge ako na i-breakdown. Oh, I'll be there for you. Yan. Yan. Okay, okay, okay. So, lots is going on here, guys. I-analyze natin, breakdown natin. Okay, mga ka-urge. Mga ka-urge. Yan. Great people. Nice people. Yo. Next. Anyway, okay. So, what's going on here? Lots is going on here. Unang-una, naka-white silang lahat. Okay, unang-una naka-white silang lahat. So that obviously is a symbol of transparency, cleanliness. Uh, it's actually, a new version of matuwid na daan. Alright, hindi kurakot, transparent, totoong tao. Pangalawa na nakikita mo dito is actually, obviously, andun yung mga picture nila na naka-graduate silang lahat. Mga pictures nila na graduate sila na parang magkapatid, magka-friends. At uh, probably it's also a reminder na sila legit graduate, hindi katulad no? Hindi ko sa rektor. Ano. Anyway, um, pangatlo, kung titignan mo yung bahay, it's a very, it's a very um, typical middle class Filipino house. Right? So, it's a very kind of a median, uh, you know, middle class house. Or, or you know, uh, upwardly mobile or aspirational middle class Filipino. So, andun yung element na yan. Alright. Um, the other thing you also can see here is a gender balance and generational balance to a degree. With Bama Kino, Gen X, na hindi ganong kalaya sa mga older millennials sa katulad natin. And then, of course, Chell a little bit there. And then, uh, and then Risa. So, and then, so, it's, so there are all elements of balance here. The other thing you can see here is sobrang chill sila, sobrang cool sila, sobrang relax sila, nonchalant, right? Sang foa, right? Okay. So, that also shows na there's confidence. There's confidence at hindi sila na-intimidate dun sa power ng administration, din sila, hindi sila na-intimidate uh, sa, sa pagpoposition ng mga Duterte sa sarili na bilang kunyarang opposition, sa so mga Japex na opposition. Yung op- opposition lang dahil hindi lang uh, binigyan ng position or nawalan ng position or bumitaw ng position. Obviously, this also shows na Riza is sticking with this, na hindi magkakaroon ng more expanded opposition, hindi na masama yung uh, more makabayan block or more leftist figures so mukhang ito na talaga maging left liberal let's just call it left liberal coalition and here of course you also see Rizon Tiveros uh, leadership leadership and and her good vibes and strength and you also see the other side of Rizon Tiveros here very relaxed effortless relatable compassionate all of those elements there now let's see how is this gonna work Ako kasi, siguro, ang, 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 ang napansin siguro na, ang strategy siguro nila is, first of all, kailangan sila mamarkaan. Kailangan sila makilala. Kailangan maging relatable sila. Gets ko lahat yan. At tama yung sinabi ni Ronald Liamas na, uh, na medyo baka nakalimutan na sila. Kailangan nila i-remind yung mga tao. Si Bam, matagalan na wala sa Xena in direct terms. Although, of course, he's been campaign manager of Lenny with great degree of success. Choel has been there, uh, among other things, but nevertheless, push lang ng push yan. I think they're also showing that, you know, hindi totoo lahat ng mga propaganda laban sa kanila. All those years na mga DDS attacks, DDS fake news, DDS, uh, you know, all that nonsense and fake news and propaganda information. So they're saying, actually, look at us. We're cool people. We're nice people. Nice people, great people, cool people. So essentially, they're saying all of the DDS stuff, fake news, fake news, excuse me, excuse me, not true, not true, fake news. So yon. So so it's a, it's a kind of a detox and at the same time projection of hope and possibility. Moving forward though, as I said nga eh, um kaya nga balikan niyo yung conversation namin ni Sonny Trillanes because at the end of the day, if you're running for Senate, it's a national position, resources, organization, campaigning is important. So some tough tactical, not strategic, but tactical issues should have to be discussed. All right? And then the other thing we have to dis- uh, the other thing also we have to look at here is this. I think obviously <laughs> obviously <laughs> obviously hindi siya nakikinig pa rin sa sabi natin na kailangan ng magkakaroon ng mea culpa, self reflection, whatever. It looks like it's not going to happen. Um I, but I 
Ang take ko kasi dito is, I think Risa Universe has already found a formula that works for her, right? Which is this combination of charm and toughness and defiance, right? And mama tignan at the same time very palaban, etc. I think she kind of found that and all. But ano? Ano tana boss pogi ka po sa personal? Ano kasi mas pogi po? <laughs> Hindi, kasi medyo pangit ako dito. Anyway, balikan natin ito. Um, nakaka- huwag kayong magtanong, huwag kayong magulo. May, yung, yung urge nyo, yung urge nyo. Your urge, keep to yourself. <laughs> Now, going back to this. Um, uy, 2020 elections, umayos ka. Kayo ang mga, kayo ang mga fascista na ano. Anyways, going back to this. No, no, um, Okay, so ang 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 group projection nila is all of the things I mentioned. But ang kasi ang kailangan dito, guys, is bawat sa akin nila may area sila na kailangan nila strengthen. So, right off the bat, ang na- naisip ko dito is for instance kay Chel Jok, no. Na interview na natin siya, 'di ba? Um, matalino, mabait na tao, Jok no family, the best. No question about it. But I think medyo kulang sa tapang tapang, you know, show some palaban. Kasi ang pansin ko, ang gusto talaga ng taong bayan is hindi lang mabait. In fact, mas gusto ng taong bayan palaban. Pero yung puso ay nasa tamang lugar. So, clearly, pagdating kay Chell, the mind is in the right place, one of the greatest legal minds, human rights minds in our country. The heart is also absolutely in the right place. Ang kailangan lang siguro sa kay Chell, I, I suggest Less smile and more toughness, more palaban, and more reminder of paano siya lumaban para sa karapatan ng mga tao, ng mga biktima ng EJK, yung mga na cyber libel, na cyber bully, na kung ano nung ginawa sa kanila, nung paano hindi ko. I think there has to be more of that. The more of that. Kay Bama Kino, it's a completely different issue. I think parating na tayo sa Ninoy Deba or something like that. I think Bam's issue is really to build up and bring back the Aquino legacy. And we discussed that already before. I'm still waiting for that. He has to do what um, he has to do what Rahul Gandhi did in the case of India. Yung parang medyo papagilty ba niya yung mga voters? Parang, bakit kayo ganyan? Eh, sabi ni Rahul Gandhi, yung lola ko, na-assassinate, yung daddy ko, ganito, ganon. Ang, la- ang dami namin mga sacrificio. Yes, nagkakulang kayo may. Yes, nakikinig ako sa inyo. Pero, please also don't forget yung sacrificio na ginawa ng pamilya namin para sa demokrasya sa India. Yun ang ginawa ni Rahul Gandhi. So my sense is, Bama has to move that part. And then kay Pangilinan naman, he, he ran for vice president. He's quite a known commodity in the Senate and all of that. So ang tanong ngayon is, bakit dapat bumalik ka pa? Ang tagal mo na sa Senate, ang dami mo nagawa. Why should you return? So it's more about emphasizing, hindi pwede mag-isa lang na totoong opposition si Risa. Kailangan ng backup. And he's a very competent one, he's a veteran one, and he has to remind everyone of what he brought to the table all those years na Senate siya. At the Senate, accept din siguro na karagusan na ng shortcomings also nung panahon hindi ko ngayon. Oh, mahabang usapan yan. But nevertheless, he has to remind people bakit kailangan siya ulit sa Senado. So I can go one by one with all of these candidates. But nevertheless, what we see here is how Riza is definitely the leader of the opposition. She's a very central figure. But it's something very interesting with Riza, she's very self-effacing at the same time. right? She's a leader that doesn't come off as a leader. Right? She's matapang at the same time she doesn't come as, as aggressive. Or Karen. Or Saint... I sorry, Saint, not Saint. Karen. <laughs> Susan, may Susan pa daw. Eh, mas mataas na level sa Karen. So, let's see. Let's see. Ako, just to be... I'll just spell it out. Hindi pwede pa cute lang. As simple as that. It's okay to be cute. It's okay to be Nice. Nice. <laughs> It's great to be nice, great to be cute, di ba? no problem, beautiful people. But at the same time, dapat matapang, dapat palaban, dapat assertive, dapat talaga, di ba? Yeah, push ba? Fake news, fake news, not true, not true. Dapat talagang ganon, ganon ang dating. And, and emphasize what they will really bring to the table. Kasi ang, ang, ang kasalawanan ng Senado, wala talagang, isa lang talagang real opposition, genuine opposition. Na. And then remind people, 
gusto mo ba yung katulad ni Urge Urge yung mga ganun or, or yung, uh, yung mga nagpapahiring kay Jonathan Morales, mga buljak buljak, yung drama drama, wala naman ano or you want some legit guy. So I think that's very important. That's very mahalaga talaga yan. Mahalaga talaga yan. And then listening truly and everything like that. But as I said, there are also tough tactical decisions they have to make considering this is also a resource mobilization game. All right? Okay, now let me go to the last part of this discussion para hindi na uh, hindi niya sasabihin na ito na naman si Richard, ano na naman siya, tawag doon, um, clickbait. See, everything I put there in the title, babalikan ko yan unless you know, something urgent is happening or I have to discuss something. No, I mean, going back to this, guys. Sarah impeachment, okay. Hindi ako magtataka if a congressman or two will throw out the Sarah impeachment thing. But I disagree actually with Ronald na kaya ito i-railroad within the next two, three weeks or before election or before the end of the year. I just, yes, it's true, it's political, but actually if you look at the proper timeline and going to Senate and all, yes, medyo alangan ni Sarah, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So I'm more pessimistic than Ronald when it comes to the scheduling. But does it make sense for critics of Duterte administration? Or does it make sense even for that? I'm sorry, critics of Duterte. Or does it even make sense for the administration to back up a real, all the way impeachment against Sara? No. 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 Because uh, three things. Tatlong dahilan na an all the way impeachment and the political capital that Marcos has to burn for that parang hindi yan worth it unang una bakit mo pa kailangan nito e parating na yung mga ICC issue bakit mo kailangan nito andyan na yung Quadcom yung Supra Committee dyan na iniimbestiga confidential fund among other things napunta pa ito sa Supreme Court so why do you need to go for the jugular when you already have all of these arrows coming in let the arrows take care of it Right? Let all of these arrows to take care of it. All of this. Diba? Don't go for jugular. Because if you go for the jugular, ang taas yung political capital na kailangan mo. And pangalawa, malapit na ito sa election. Malapit na ito sa election, then it's risky. Because Sarah can look or make herself look as a perfect victim. Babae siya, anak siya ng dating presidente na matanda na, baka makulong pa, ganun ganun. So, Magaling sa drama effect yung mga Duterte. Sobrang galing nila sa drama effect. Disruptive policy. So baka gawin mo pa siyang victima and you give them an ammunition for mobilization, especially the Vismin solid south vote in the upcoming elections. And you don't want that. You don't want that. Um, if talagang kalaban ka ng mga Duterte. And then third, and most importantly, most importantly, hayan mo na lang sila. Because if you look at it, Sarah, keep, keep, she keeps on making mistakes right and left. Probably it's hubris, probably it's lack of political savvy because Sara clearly doesn't have what her father has, which is a, a, a kind of a Machiavellian political acumen um, and humor and wit and all of those things. And, and let's be honest, we saw the old kind of a degraded version of Digong. If we, we if you saw Digong in his younger years, mas dynamic pa ng sobrang layo-layo pa. Kaya that's where all the confidence and all comes from. That's where the urge, urge, urge comes from. My thing is, remember what Napoleon said, never disrupt your enemy when they're making mistakes, right? When they're already hurting themselves, when they're already shooting themselves in the foot. So, actually, the last thing the administration want to do here is to... Or Kalaban of the Terrorists want to do. The last thing they want to do is to disrupt that process. The process that is already earning her, uh, uh, costing her 19 points in multiple surveys. But having said that, it still makes sense for a congressman or two to file an imp- impeachment against her um, for political reasons. Now, legal reasons, pwede natin pag-usapan yan. Uh, as Justice Carpio said, if you look at a betrayal of public trust, it's a catch-all kind of uh, basis for you know, impeachment. And dami pang ito sa confidential. Okay, marami tayong pwede pag-usapan. But from a political stance, I think, going back again to that arrow thing I was talking about, if you look at it, if there's an impeachment threat, but 
the admin has plausible deniability and the admin is not expending too much political capital and hindi siya all over the place. Baka yung impeachment threat kasama pa ng ibang mga issues, confidential fund, quad quam, ICC, drama ng pamilya, etc. Baka that will be successful in the sense of making parang, let's just call it, making them radioactive. Meaning, yung mga gustong sumama sa mga Dutertes sa susunod, uh, sa, 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 sa darating na opposition ay magdadalawang isip sila. Bakit tayo tataya dito, eh baka nga ma-impeach pa to. Bakit tayo tataya dito, napaka-vulnerable naman. Bakit tayo tataya dito, eh mukhang ano na to eh, di ba? Um, di ba? So, it's about that Goldilocks level of throwing all sorts of arrows, but at the same time, not too much para hindi maging mukhang biktima or ma- ma-awaken from stupor of self-sabotage, if I can put it that way. Diba? So, yun yung balance ng, ng pwedeng gawin ng mga kalaban nila. On the side of the Duterte, is obviously in terms of strategy, they will grasp for anything to present themselves as heroes or anti-heroes or present themselves as heroes, anti-heroes, great people, right? Um, saviors, diba? So, sabi naman na, things were great. Things were tremendous during our time. Yung mga ganun ekek nila, diba? So, that's where I'm saying na 100% all, you know, all, you know, sports gear, impeachment doesn't make sense. But maybe it politically makes sense for the threat of impeachment being there. So that you isolate and bog down mga Duterte's in the upcoming elections. Because ang, ang challenge dito sa administration is to make it look na mga Duterte's are just so marginalized na, sobrang mahina na sila na it's not even worth betting on them. And eventually, that's gonna spiral into momentum against Sara or even Basta for that matter. Si Basta nga, batid na ba na medyo ano na sila eh. And that could also give uh, momentum dun sa mga kalaban nila, like mga Nugrales sa mga others dyan sa Davao mismo. But more importantly, that will also dampen yung prospects of Sara making a comeback in 2026-2027 as once again a present presidential frontrunner. So yun yung mga elements na dapat talaga titignan ng, 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 na pwedeng titignan ng kalaban nila. So, an all-out impeachment, I don't think time-wise works before the end of the year or until the elections is over. Um, and I don't think it also politically... So it's logistically not the wisest, it's politically not the wisest, although legally some could say that you could make a strong argument in its favor. Right? On that note, thank you very much again sa lahat naman nakinig sa atin. Um, appreciate you guys having the constant urge to to follow us, to like us, to appreciate us, right? Our beautiful, beautiful podcast, great podcast, amazing podcast, millions and millions of views podcast. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, guys. Again, I appreciate that. Please check out uh, yung mga na-release natin episode. That is from my camera dun sa in-studio namin with uh, Ronald Diamas and Mark Gamboa. Um, minimally bring studio and uh, so you know we're, we're investing in this we're investing in leveling up ito mga podcasts and everything that and so your continued support your continued appreciation constructive comments constructive comments great comments amazing comments uh, your stars your stickers whatever all of those things we really really appreciate that because that gives us also the confidence to invest in this podcast to invest in our collaboration for me to constantly reach out to others as I said I work with everyone. I work with everyone as long as it serves the national interest. And as long as tugma ito dun sa ating mga adhikain. Kaya nga, we work with Mark Ambo, I work with Kristan, I work with Ronald. Ewan ko nandun sa iba, ngayon nila makipag-collaborate. But I have extended the olive, not even olive branch, I have extended the invitation letter practically to everyone out there. And kaya tuwan-tuwa tayo kung nakikita natin na may traction talaga. Hindi lang na number one tayo dun sa mga ibang rankings or anything like that. Because others could also make a good case and they're also number one. But so at least easily among the top. Um, but it's, but more importantly, I uh, na confirm ko na talagang practically all the major decision makers or people who matter, not to mention mainstream media, are also checking out our podcast. So ang laking bagay yan. Remember, I started this podcast because I felt hindi ko magawa yung gusto, gusto kong gawin either in writing alone or dun sa media. Because sa media, you know, they get you for 2-3 minutes interview, CNN, whatever, or I don't know, some uh, 24 hours, whatever. 
Uh, and then you can have talks here and there. But even yung mga times na medyo mas mahaba yung ginawa natin, like yung FYI show ko sa, sa GMA or yung Stanford, that was great. And I'm really, really thankful to GMA you know, for, for giving me those opportunities. And now even more with One News TV5 giving me the view from Manila opportunity. I really appreciate that. Um, the thing is also there is a side of me na gusto mas, mas informal. Na medyo gusto mag... Uh, you know, because there's there are many layers to me, right? I mean, I, I'm, I'm a 100% serious guy. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't achieve what I have if I were not a serious guy. But gusto ko rin yung ganitong communications. Yung medyo kalog, medyo patawa, medyo relatable. ba? Diba? Relatable. Kaya sabi ko, kagabi medyo emotional ako eh. Diba? Yung parang, ang cute naman ang logo namin. Tapos natatawa kami. Tapos, eh, ay... As depressing as our politics is, as frustrating as it is, as much as we have an urge, you no, know, to like, ah, like uh, eject, eject, de ba? Alam niyo mga nasa classroom na ikita mo yung mga may mga drawings, eject pilot yung mga karon yung mga ilis sa sa class or sa. I hope, you know, with this comedy or whatever we have here. Uh, <laughs> And with, no? with this thing, uh, yeah. Siguro naman, sasang ayaw naman sa akin ng... Siguro naman, ako, hindi. Ayan, ko siguro naman, pwede ka naman mag-gym. Or mag- yung urge mo, sir. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> love ko talaga ito. Sobrang, sobrang love ko talaga yan. Uh, it represents exactly what we're doing here in podcast. It doesn't represent the entirety of my work. As I said, you want my serious stuff, you can check my columns, my writings, my... My shows on TV, etc. Uh, from even from different channels, I did, including from Jamie before. But yung etong side, yung the Socratic method, no, na medyo kuelo, medyo kalog, medyo relatable. This is it. This is it. Puya kasha. Thank you so much. Marami salamat. Please continue to support us on our different on different platforms on Spotify. Boy, di naman kayo nagrate na. Wag naman ganon, guys. And daming So, dami na nanonood. Sana naman, kahit mga 100 sa inyo, mag naman sa atin sa Spotify. Guys, we're still stuck at 600 ratings. 600 ratings. Gawin naman natin 1,000 to, guys. Punta lang kayo sa Spotify. Just type my name. Hey, Darian Lalabas yan. Or Deep Dive. Right? Libre lang naman. 628 ratings lang tayo. Gawin naman natin, guys. Gawin naman natin 1,000 ratings. And hopefully, closer to 5. Closer to 5. Bit higher. Huge ratings, great ratings, no? Kailangan natin yan, guys. Okay? And uh, sa podcast, Apple Podcast, also, libre na naman, libre lang naman. Para ko sinisahil, ilokano ako sa naintindihan ko kung medyo ibang, ano, kaya na-appreciate ko talaga yung mga ibang, ano, nag, uh, but ito, libre na yan, eh. Dalawang click lang. What is wrong with you people? Go, do it. Okay? All right. Fantastic. Thank you very much, guys. As I promised, I'm working on many things also on Monday. God willing, ito na na launch. Launch ko naman yung Utak Forum. Usapan Taf at Katipunan. Ito yung kapian natin kung saan we bring the best and brightest in strategic affairs, the pit, greatest patriots in this country. And simula naman tayo with, of course, Admiral Ong, Justice Scorpio, Ron, lahat ng mga hosts natin. And of course, we have also folks from government, Jay Teriella, Uh, ADG Malaya and mga respira, medyo whole of nation approach and in the next episodes God willing we want to have civil society younger generation women leaders and sila and let's, let's, let's bring in people alright so that's what I'm trying to do so I really appreciate guys your support and hope we tuloy-tuloy na itong usapan na ito. and please libre na mag-subscribe sa YouTube natin malapit na tayo dun sa minimum threshold na habol natin thank God we're getting there libre na mag-subscribe libre na mag-comments Especially good comments, great comments. Um, and please, um, feel free to suggest us to other people. I saw some comments, like for instance, like dun sa show ko sa The View from Manila, I saw some comment like, oh, the, only now I discovered you because I used to listen to itong kabilang channel or yung kabilang channel. And I was like, so all these years you missed everything I did? My interview with Christian Amanpour, with Fire Zakaria, my New York Times, stuff, and, and, but, but, and, but anyways... <laughs> So it looks like uh, not enough people are being, you know, like, you know, are, are you know, are, alam mo na, okay. Woo! Salamat. Very heartened, very heartened, very heartened, very inspired because of you guys, because of your support. God bless. God bless the Philippines and uh, God willing, one day. 
May sasabihin, I'll be nice, okay? Bahala na. Sir, bahala ka na. Hopefully, we'll not see clown shows like that. Thank you very much. God bless and talk to you soon.